one minute. Be sure you get those phones on silent. Well, hey, y'all come and ramble around our town. If they don't give you an award, don't let it hit you down. It'll live on forever. Keep the fates alive. For the born in Kentucky. Thirty seconds. Good afternoon. You've got your radio tuned to Radio Bristol. This is Nathan Sykes, and I'll be hosting a Radio Bristol session this afternoon uh, down here at the birthplace of Country Music Museum's Performance Theater. We've got a great crowd out today. How are you doing today, folks? Yeah. All right, they're here to hear some good music, and if you've got the radio tuned in, you are too. Our guests today are a group that has fearlessly been revolutionizing the acoustic music world and how it can be presented and played. Their name has become synonymous with redefining boundaries and the cutting edge of acoustic music. They've been nominated for countless awards and shared the stage with everyone from Leonard Skinner to the Punch Brothers. Make them welcome Mountain Heart. <laughs> y'all doing so far folks I was trying to get you to scream when Seth took a solo but nobody saw me I'm offended, guys. <laughs> thank you for coming out here um, this feels like 5 a.m. to a bunch of musicians so uh, 
we apologize. We drove here straight to see you from Nashville, Tennessee. So We're going to do you a couple songs at least off the new record right here. We have a new album uh, that came out uh, last month, and it's called Soul Searching. And this is one... Uh, this is one I wrote with a friend of mine named Ronnie Bowman down in Nashville. It's a it's a little New Orleans feeling song. One, two, Thank you. That was good till I headbutt at the microphone. Did y'all see that? <sighs> Gonna ruin my Virginia is for lovers hat. Hey, we're gonna do you another song uh, and then maybe take some, I think we got a couple of questions they're gonna ask us. Uh, this song started out as a, as a, a tune I wrote on guitar and um, wrote it with a guy from a band called the Infamous String Dusters who's uh, since won a Grammy with, with the record that this song's on. and. Um, we're big, uh, big fans and uh, and friends with those guys. And anyway, we decided we gotta we gotta do that song too. And um, anyway, it ended up being the the title track of our new record. It's one called Soul Searching.
I'm just a man making my way. Sometimes a sinner, sometimes a saint. I carry on to the best that I can. But Lord, if I struggle with who I took all her love like a thief in the night after all this time i never dreamed i'd still hold on to her memory Radio Bristol session with Mountain Heart for those of you folks just tuning in. And uh, how's it going, guys? Going good, man. All right, so we got Josh Schilling sitting down there at the piano, and we're going to have a little chat with him today. Uh, so, Josh, let's talk a little bit about Mountain Heart just as a whole. Uh, this band's been, I guess it's in its 20th year now, right? I didn't realize it until I think last week, but I believe <laughs> I believe so, that's right. So the original lineup uh, was, you know, featured Adam Steffi, very, very Abernathy, and was very much so a just traditional bluegrass instrumentation. The innovation was always there. So 
talk a little bit about how y'all have been able to maintain that uh, innovation and all of that, all while maintaining, uh, you know, different members as they've came and went. Well, I mean, the band, like you said, was pushing the envelope long before any of us came along. And uh, ultimately, I, when I when I was hired into the band, they were looking for more of a soulful rock kind of sound. They, I remember they called and they were like, man, if we could just find a young John Cowan type singer, I think that'd be perfect. And uh, I, I'm far from that, but I was the closest thing I think they could find at the time. <laughs> and so uh, they were pretty progressive even years ago. But um, but since then, I mean, I think the bond that's held everybody together is uh, the musicianship, really. I mean, um, people grow up and have kids and, you know, have health issues and life happens. And as, you know, this guy f gets phased out or he leaves for whatever reason, uh, we just handpick who we want to come into the band. And we've been really fortunate to... Uh, to handpick some of the greatest in the in the in the world at what they do, and uh, so I think that's really allowed us to still have a platform. And uh, you know, I also think that if you if we come to Bristol and play the same show three or four times in a row, well, you guys might get bored with that and not come back. So, in a way, change is actually really healthy, even within a band. And um, I've seen that be the case here. Uh, you know, each time we bring in another face, it's like, well, I got to see this once at least. You know, so so I think those are you know some of the elements that have kept it alive. Oh, for sure. So keeping it fresh is definitely a thing here. Every time I've seen a Mountain Heart show, it's been something a little different, <laughs> yeah, and right. I, I really like that. So yeah. w w another thing, let's talk a little bit on the innovative thing. You know, a lot of people think of Mountain Heart as falling into the category of a bluegrass band, but you've got the piano and a few other things that aren't exactly traditional. So talk a little bit about that idea. Well, I mean, when I started, I, I didn't play piano at all, and uh, I was just strumming a guitar, and I was a much worse guitar player than I am now, and I'm still not great at it. Um, but it kind of became obvious that if you're going to have any sort of identity um, or stick out, you know, uh, you may as well do what you do best and be authentic to yourselves. And um, I always say jokingly, but truthfully, if if Seth played saxophone incredibly well, I would absolutely be voting for him to take a sax solo in the middle of one of these songs. And, and that goes for kazoo or anything else. I mean, so it just so happens that I mean, I'm a session player. I play piano full time. I have since I was a little boy, and it didn't make sense to keep hiding that, you know. And we've actually found a way to uh, to use it in in this music. And oddly enough, I think it's another element that has allowed us, you know, love it or hate it. Uh, I think that it's it's another thing that's oh, that's that band that has the piano with with, with mandos and banjos, you know. And so it's a it's different, and I think that gives you a calling card, and, and hopefully it's a good thing. Um, so I think that it is. I mean, everything just blends so effortlessly. I mean, as you said, the musicianship here is just head and shoulders above so much, and it's just incomparable. So you've got a new record out, Soul Searching. Uh, talk, talk a little bit about it. Well, uh, I think it came out on the 10th of last month. Is that right? Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I'd say it's the, it's, it's the closest to us of all the records we've cut. And when I say that, I mean... We co-produced it. We we Seth drew the 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 front cover and we worked on the art in house. We wrote all the songs except one. We uh, we pretty much did everything ourselves. It was cut in a studio environment, but it's us, you know. And uh, and on top of that, I we've done this in the past, but like we took a long time with finding the songs, like years. Uh, and I think that hands down, um, their performances are great, but the song. Uh, the song choices are just perfect for us right now, I think. Um, you know, like what you just heard, um, we've never cut a New Orleans feeling. I've never, a piano player, I've never written one, never never had an original New Orleans feeling song. So that's new territory for Mountain Heart, and, and we covered a lot of that uh, type of turf on, on this record. So, All right, so you, you talk about the different feels for songwriting, and you're... I'm assuming you're the primary songwriter on this, Josh. Are you collaborating with the other guys in the band? Uh, talk a little bit about your songwriting. Well, on this one, uh, we tried hard to get everybody involved as writer because everybody uh, in the band is is a great writer. Uh, it's always kind of, uh, it seems like, you know, we we will have a handful of songs we know are going to work together, and then there's a, there's a lot of other options that just don't fit. And I feel like on this one, we were able to, Aaron and I finally got a song on this record together. And then we had a song called Restless Wind, um, which is the first song and only song we've ever written as a band. Uh, we all just got together for the day at my house and carved it out. And so that's, uh, that's kind of new to us as well. But for me, I, I really, there's so many reasons for, to have everybody vested in the material. Um, 
first of all, they're more proud of it, you know, and hopefully they make a few more pennies off of it. <laughs> and and uh, but in in general, for the last decade, I've been one of the primary writers on the on the records. But we're trying to change that to where everybody has a piece of it. And uh, I would actually love just to get in a RV next time and go to Colorado and just write the write the record on the way and finish it up on the way back. And and that's that's actually something I'm trying to carve out w with the guys right now uh, is is a. Uh, you know, something like that for the next project as far as the uh, theme goes. But, but yeah, I mean, we, we definitely worked together more and, and uh, spent more time uh, hashing out the, the songs. Um, the old days, you know, the records, and a lot of most bands, uh, the records are literally just, well, I got this song from so-and-so, and, -so and Daryl Scott sent me this one, if you're lucky enough, and Chris Stapleton sent me that one, if you're lucky enough, and let's just cut them, and they're all super random, and somehow we'll throw them all together. And, that works, but that's not what we want to do now. We want to create, you know, an album that has a vibe and some mojo about it within itself, and and hopefully, because we've had ten of those albums I was just describing, you know. So, all right, so lots of good uh, innovation here with the musicianship, the songwriting. You guys are just—I can tell you guys are just tight. You all like one another. That's great to see in a band. So, where can the folks listening in the radio, uh, if they want to come see you live and in person, where's the best place for them to do that upcoming? Well, tonight, that's in Johnson City, right? Yeah. It's at the Willow Tree, uh, and I want to I keep wanting to say coffee house and tea. Is that correct? Did I say that right? Let's just call it the Willow Tree. Yeah. Let's, let's be safe. But that's in Johnson City. It's our first time playing there. We've, uh, we've played Bristol. We've played Knoxville and Asheville, and we've done the down home, but we've never been to the Willow Tree. So uh, if you guys, we can just round all y'all up and go. Uh, but we're playing there tonight. I think we start at 9, and we're playing uh, tomorrow night in Boone at a, at a festival called the Blue Bear Festival, which is our first time there as well. Uh, but uh, in general, after that, if they just want, if you just want to go to mountainheart.com, there's a tour page, and it'll show you everything we're doing uh, from now until the new year. All right, well, that sounds great, guys. Folks, we've got Mountain Heart in for a live in-studio session. What do you say we get a couple more songs, guys? Make them real welcome, Mountain it. Heart. Thank you. <laughs>
They said, oh, yeah. We're breaking all the rules, I believe. Uh, hey, thank you all for coming out here. We're going to play you a cover uh, by some Carolina boys. We, uh, we all love the Marshall Tucker Band from back in their heyday, and uh, this is one we worked up by then. But uh, I do want to give the guys here at the, at the station a big shout-out and thanks. Josh back there running sound, if you'd give it up one time for him. And... Uh, and real quick, I don't know if we got, actually got to mention, my name's Josh, he mentioned that, but uh, this is Aaron Ramsey on upright bass. Yeah. Seth Taylor crushing the skinny jeans and acoustic guitar. That's Ashby Frank from North Carolina singing his butt off right there. And Corey Walker on banjo down there on the end. This is one, this is not jam long time, boys. Let's jam short time. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> this old cowboy. All right. Well, I'm sitting down in San Antonio. Waiting on an eight o'clock train My woman left me here last night Things ain't been quite the same I gotta get back to Dallas Oh, and tie up a few loose ends I'm gonna work a week and make a hundred dollars Then I'll hit the road again I don't want you to think you're the first one to leave me out here on my own And you ain't gonna be the first time this old cowboy spent the night alone No, you won't bigger fool I can't remember when I've been just to open up my heart oh and let you walk right in but there's one thing in my life that ain't never been hard for me to do that's as soon as I kiss the lips of another woman I'll I'll forget all about you you to think you're the first one to leave me out here on my own and you ain't gonna be the first time the soul cowboy spent the night alone no you won't
If you wrote all the women's names down that I know And let me pick one out I ain't sure there'd be one in that whole bunch That I'd give a hoot about And I don't want you to think you're the first one To leave me out here This old cowboy spent the night alone You ain't gonna be the first time This old cowboy spent the night alone Oh, you won't That's Mountain Heart right here on Radio Bristol. Go check them out over at the Willow Tree in Johnson City tonight. Check them out online, mountainheart.com. Thank you all once again for coming out. Thanks for stopping by, guys. And be sure to stay tuned right here to Radio Bristol. We've got J.P. Parsons with Appalachian Travels. He's got some great in-studios coming at you in just a few. Thank you. Happy Friday, everyone. This is J.P. Parsons, your host of Appalachian Travels. Every Friday from 2.30 to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, bringing you the best in local, regional music, and live performance radio. I've got two really good live guests this afternoon. We're just going to do a double session, and then I'm going to have to head on down the road to get up to uh, Roanoke, Virginia tonight to do a show. But uh, first guest up is, uh, I'm really excited about this guy, uh, Chris Trulson, our program director, sent me his music uh, a couple weeks ago, and I dug into it. And I'm really glad that he is coming in all the way from Huffman, Texas, originally where he is from. Uh, Mr. Ben Danaher is in the audience with us today. Ben, how are you, brother? I'm good. How are you, man? Man, I'm doing good. It's nice to meet you, and you thank you for coming in to do your tunes, man. I'm really looking forward to hearing them. So Ben is in town this evening uh, over in the Johnson City area. He's going to be playing at the legendary Down Home Pickin' Parlor. Are you pretty excited about that? I'm pumped. There's, you I should be. a lot of great things about it. Oh, dude, it's so cool. Yeah? You're going to love it. <laughs> You're going to be like, I want to play that venue every night. I'm just going to park the van in the back and stay there and play tomorrow. They got to park a lot back there, and I've seen <laughs> musicians in vans just kind of crashing there, dude. Seriously, it's all good. But. That's funny. But uh, Ben is uh, you're on a like a little run doing your uh, an album release right now. The album is out. Uh, what it released last night? Today. Today. Today's out. Yeah, we did a show last night to, to okay. celebrate it. But yeah. Yeah, cool. The album is called Still Feel Lucky, and uh, you gonna do a couple tunes off that one? You bet. All right, man. Take it away, brother. All 